And what's going on guys? So today I will be doing a review on my first computer laptop. Um, I've never bought a computer before with my own actual money. So this is actually my first computer ever compared to the other computer I've had, which uh, I got as a contribution, a donation. And my very, very first computer was a birthday gift. So the two computers I've had of all my life, one was a birthday gift and this one, or the second one was a, I'm gonna say donation, a contribution. <laughs> I'm not gonna get into that one though. But this I actually bought with my actual money. So this is genuinely, authentically, legitimately, legitimately my first computer ever. And we're gonna do an unboxing on the Acer, Acer Aspire 3, which is, let's, so it's a pretty big computer for a laptop. And the reason I'm talking a little bit low right now is because my uh, people are sleeping, so I don't want to wake them up. But yes, this is the 17.3 uh, LED LCD screen, Intel Core i5, 1035G1, uh, 8 gigabytes of RAM, which I'm going to upgrade as well. And of course, integrated graphics card. Very shitty, but hey, it's just a computer that I got on sale for a good price. And I just needed a computer that I can move around with until I upgrade to a more sophisticated professional gaming computer. This is just for me to use and just go around and have it. Just something to have because I got it for a good price. And this has a one terabyte hard drive, which I will also be upgrading to a solid drive. But this is the DVD burner optional model, which makes this computer awesome because they don't make, not that I know of, they don't make laptops with DVD writer optical drives. So, we're going to go ahead and do a unboxing video on this computer. Plus, besides, it's my first computer. So, <clears throat> for the price I got it at, I can't complain. I got it for a good price. And I was looking for a laptop with a DVD writer optical drive. So... Um, this was it. This was the one I chose. I did my research. This was the best bang for the buck. And, and for what it is. Uh, this is not the newest of the newest computers, laptop. But uh, it's fairly new and it's new in box. So to me it's brand new. Even though it was made in 2020 or 2021, whatever. But, yes, so let's go ahead and unbox this damn thing. charger I would suppose uh, all right so I'll put that on the side wait a minute what is this oh right, so we got the uh, manual guide Cool, huh? Okay. 
Okay, this is a bunch of paper, maybe warranty information or whatever. I'll put this down as well. the uh, power connector. I'll put that to the side as well. And that's about it. So we're going to go ahead and pull out the laptop. going to go ahead and pull out the computer. Alright, so off the bat, it is a pretty cool looking computer so far. So right off the bat, it already looks good. Nice black finish, obviously. Let's see, let's put this to the side. All right, let's get this out of the way. Okay, so let's see what we have inside. Obviously, like I said, this is the uh, DVD optical drive, which I purposely chose because of that. I feel like it's very convenient to have a laptop with a DVD optical drive, so I chose this laptop specifically for that after doing my research. And yeah, so we got a USB port on one side here and a DVD optical drive and oh, let's go to the back and see how the back looks. Alright. So the back obviously you already know Acer. Uh, it's got a nice sleek finish design to it. Just smooth. Right. And over here we have a 3.0 USB port and another USB port and an HDMI cable and an Ethernet cable and we have a plug for the headphones which is awesome. Okay and over here the power uh, supply for the plug for this guy so, so let's go ahead and open up the damn computer let's see what it's like Big screen. 
Oh, yes, I look like you know who. Excuse me. I don't mean to be a mirror right now, but all right. Um, let's take this out. So, all right, that's nothing. It's just a little uh, blanket. All right, let's just put that to the side. And, wow. So, this is wireless, has Bluetooth, HDMI port. All right, obviously, Intel Core i5, 10th generation, and the keypads. All right, hopefully this has a backlight. I don't even think this thing has a backlight. Hopefully it does. That'd be kind of weird, having a laptop with no backlight. Get this cleaned up a little bit. There we go. I don't even know if this damn thing has a backlight for keypads or a keyboard. It doesn't look like it. Oh my gosh. We're about to see. It does not look like it. It legitimately does not look like it has a LED lights on this damn thing. All right, so how do we turn it on? Oh, I forgot to mention this thing has a front camera, too. So, yeah, it's pretty, uh, pretty cool, I guess. But how do you turn this thing on? Is there a button somewhere? I don't know how to turn this damn thing on. Shit, how the hell am I going to turn off this freaking laptop? Oh wait, oh, ew. that's a noob part. Oh, my mistake. There it is, let's see if that turns on. Maybe it needs to get charged. Have to charge this damn thing. It's been so long. Alright, so I'm gonna have to stop the video for now because I have to charge it. So, yeah. Wow. But yes, let me uh, put this thing charging. Hey guys, so it's me again. Um, I've been letting this thing charge. It's been about 10, 15 minutes already. Letting it charge. I haven't turned it on yet. So I was waiting for a video to do uh, a startup on this damn computer. But um, I'm going to flip the computer around to see if it's upgradable with the RAM and the hard drive so I'm pretty sure it is because I had already ordered the hard drive and the RAM upgrade for this computer so I'm hoping it is upgradable so we're going to turn it around to see if it is upgradable and from the looks of it oh, it's not an easy uh, things to just upgrade where you could just open it up and then put the RAM or the hard drive. This one's a little bit more different. Just you gotta take out all these uh, screws, which is like one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. So you got like twelve screws. But here's the best part. Guess what I got? Just guess what I got. Check this out. Before I got the laptop, I also made sure I bought a kit to upgrade the RAM and the hard drive to a solid drive. 
which is more stable and better and more secure. So we got ourselves a Stray Beto kit, whatever that is called. But hey, whatever. If it works, it works. But this is a computer phone um, console systems repair kit or upgrade kit, whatever you want to call it. So we are going to open that up and check it out. Check out our computer tools. How about that? This must be computer porn for those people that are into computers and rebuild and fix and do all kinds of shit to consoles, computers, phones, whatever. So check that out. We got ourselves a kit, a computer kit. How about that? So we're ready to upgrade our RAM and our hard drive. Oh yeah, so let's take a closer look. Just to see what we got here. All right. So, obviously, these tools are very sophisticated. Wow, check this out. It even comes with a brush. Clean out any, any little debris. Wow. A little uh, broom for the computers. <laughs> cool. All right, so we got, obviously, this is very handy to open up underneath the uh, CDs. So as soon as we unscrew these screws, we'll be able to un unbolt this with one of these. We'll just go, oh yeah. Thank you, Papa. Thank you, Mama. So that's convenient. What do we got ourselves? If we don't want to mess up the computer, we got a plastic one. It won't break it. It won't mess it up. So that's nice too. All right. And obviously, I don't know what this is for, but looks cool too. And what is this? Uh, I guess this is like a like a stretchable one, a flexible one where you could uh, flex it around. That's pretty cool. All right, and this, oh, and this is like a pick, like tweezers. You could tweeze it out, repair your chips, your CPUs, or whatever. Whatever the computer professionals do. Yeah. All right. This, I don't know what this is, but all right, I'll put that back on. But yeah, check out these tools, huh? Pretty sure we got the correct tool for this computer. Which is, oh, it's a simple Phillips screw. I don't even know. Check that out, it's a simple screw. Hey, I bought a freaking computer kit not knowing I could have done it with a Phillips head screw, huh? But hey, whatever. It's always good to have, I like tools. But yes, this is what it looks like for a computer or gaming consoles, PC, Xbox, PlayStation, phones, whatever. I highly recommend this. What is this? Oh, it's put on the fridge like a magnet. Mobile phone repair tools. All right, a memory mat. Cool. Put this back in here. So yeah, I highly recommend this kit if you guys are into that. You just plug, out of all these tools, you could just plug one in here, you know? Very cool stuff. So, as soon as I get the RAM, hard drive, I'll uh, definitely uh, upgrade and use the tools kit for sure. So let's go ahead and close this up for when we actually need it. Huh? 
indeed. So, so if you guys are interested, this is the brand. I got it for like 30, 40 bucks. Very worth it. You can fix your phones, your consoles, whatever. You name it. Whatever. But yes, pretty cool stuff. Put that on the other side. The computer's had its uh, fair share of charging. I say we turn it on, shall we? Let's turn on the computer. Let's see what we got. Just a moment. All right, I know it's not the best, but let's get this cleaned up a little bit. I already got hand marks on it. Well, I plan on sticker bombing this computer. Give it some nice stickers. Oh, yes. Okay, I mean, it ain't the best, but hey, should get it. Okay, so we're just, uh, So, I have officially set up the computer already after about like 20, 15 minutes into it. Um, I'm not used to uh, Windows 10, but uh, so far, it's alright. I was more used to uh, Windows 7. I'm actually a big fan of Windows 7, but uh, <clears throat> wow. There's no backlight on the keypad. I am like super surprised. I did not know that. I did not know this computer does not have a keypad uh, backlight. That is unfortunate, but I'm just gonna have to work with that for now. I am not too upset because I got it at a good price. So, and like I said, I wanted something with uh, Optional, DVD, CD, so, look at that, see, that's very nice, that is so convenient, you have no idea <clears throat> how awesome that is, so, I am not upset at all, because I like that, so, that's very convenient, but, so far, so good. Um, I'm not used to laptops. This is my first laptop as well. The other two computers was a desktop, so... Um, so far, I did a little download Google Chrome. That's not so bad. Uh, but yeah, as you can see, there's no backlight on this thing. Unless there is. Maybe there is. I just don't know how to turn it on. I don't know. Let me go see if I turn off the light or something. Hey guys, welcome back. So today we're going to be testing out to see how fast the uh, computer starts from factory. The way it sits now, which is the uh, one terabyte uh, HDD hard drive and the eight uh, gigabytes of RAM. So we're just gonna start it up, see how many, uh, how long it takes to get to the, I guess the uh, home screen or main menu, whatever. And 
And then after, when we install these, which is a 16 gigabyte RAM and a four terabyte uh, solid drive, hard drive, uh, solid state drive, and then we'll compare to see if these upgrades actually made a difference or not. Um, I've never seen a review on the 16 gigabyte RAM install on the Acer Aspire 3 17 inch laptop. Neither a review on the four terabyte upgrade uh, solid drive for this particular laptop or even any other four terabyte for this uh, exact model or brand uh, upgrade on a laptop, which is a SP, I guess, silicon, silicon, I think it's called, silicon, silicon power, four terabyte. All right, this is a 2.5 SATA inch uh, solid state drive. So these are the specs. Uh, I don't know if it's a good uh, solid drive or not. I'm gonna find out. This comes with a one year warranty, which is cool. Um, and yeah, four terabytes. It's a big, big uh, hard drive. Or, oh wait a minute, it's a three year warranty, excuse me. So yeah, uh, it's a big hard drive for a laptop or a solid drive for a laptop, but I don't know if it's any good. So I'll be doing a review on both of these. 16 gigs of RAM, which is PNY. Got this for a good price. I highly recommend this company because I've known this company for a long time. So highly recommend PNY. Very good company and it comes with a limited lifetime warranty. Check that out. Nice. Uh, this is if I'm not mistaken. Uh, oh, there it is. It's compatible with 3200 uh, Hertz, 2006, 2666, 2400, 2133. Um, and of course, DDR4. So we're just gonna literally turn on the, the laptop, the computer, and see how long it takes to get to the menu. That's it. They say with an, a RAM upgrade and the solid uh, drive upgrade, it will load so much faster like this. So we'll be finding out if it's true or not from my review of video vlog experience. So as you can see, it actually does take quite a while, right? For the uh, regular uh, hard drive, right? Or HDD, right? That's what it's called compared to... Uh... So, so far it's taken a long time. We could do a lot. We could eat, we could, uh, we could drink, we can go to the store and come back and, and voila, boom, it's still loading. You know, so this is why many uh, laptop users or gamers upgrade their laptops with the bigger RAM, with the bigger, uh, with a solid uh, drive. So, so far, we could do many things. We could think, we could talk, we could do many things while it's loading. And the moment of truth. Wow, that took quite a while. And wow, it's still loading. Incredible. Oh, 
definitely thinking this is gonna make all the difference as far as an upgrade. The RAM and the solid state drive. It's gonna make, it's gonna speed things up so much quicker. Apparently, uh, I heard like 10 times. So that's a great uh, multiplication of how powerful these simple upgrades are. So, wow, okay. Okay, so I am just gonna turn off the video. As you can see, it actually takes quite a while. So, I'm just gonna stop it here as far as for the loading screen or the main menu or the home screen. And I will be doing a, pick, a, a install on the laptop and then I'll compare with that as well, just to see the difference. All right, so let's do this again for the second time. Uh, original factory, uh, solid, uh, I mean, hard drive and uh, the eight gigabytes of RAM, original. So let's do one more startup, just to do uh, a second startup <clears throat> because of the, uh, I guess, the updates for the computer. So let's do it one more time. See how long it takes. All right, so that looks like it was much quicker this time. All righty, and there you have it. And that's how long it takes with the factory original uh, hard drive or solid or hard, hard drive and the RAM. And now we'll be installing these guys. We got a back uh, backlit uh, keyboard. So we can have backlight, we have the solid state drive and the 16 gigabytes of RAM. And of course, we got ourselves one of these, a mouse. And because this doesn't have a, a backlit keyboard, I want to upgrade that, so that's exactly what we're gonna do. But first things first. How's it going? So I'm doing a little inspection on the Acer Aspire 3. Um, I had already opened up the back cover of the uh, laptop and I wanted to find out if this was backlit keyboard optional plug-in which these computers don't come with the backlight keyboard so I had already purchased a backlight keyboard from a different model obviously it's not the same but it's the same size uh, just a different model but that's the backlight um, keyboard uh, plug and the way to tell if this came with an optional backlight uh, plug is this right here so this plug right here is empty this has a slot to install a backlight keyboard on this Acer Aspire 3, 17 inch. So, um, yeah. So, this computer has the option to upgrade the keyboard with backlight. Because these didn't come from factory with backlight. So, that's a plus, and I guess this thing requires to take the whole thing apart you gotta take out the hard drive the battery the dvd op optical drive all the usbs outside uh the wi-fi right and the uh, touchpad the motherboard has to come off you have to unplug the the uh, screen 
Everything has to literally come apart just to install this backlight uh, keyboard. You can actually use the keyboard that you have on now with just using the backlight, just installing the backlight. You can, but why not just install the new keyboard with the backlight? Since it was designed to have a see-through the uh, letterings for the backlight to actually show on the keyboard so yeah that's great news so this is backlight compatible to upgrade so that's a lot of work for a keyboard upgrade incredible but yes the Acer Aspire 3 17 inch A31752 has backlight upgradable uh, plug option, which is this. That's one, two, three, four, so that's four. Plug shows one, two, three, four. So yes, this is backlight compatible. All right, and I will see you in a little bit. All right, guys, so we're gonna do another startup on the computer. Uh, from factory see how long it takes with the uh, normal hard drive before we do this up these upgrades we're actually gonna do uh, the uh, RAM and the solid drive uh, 4 terabyte upgrade on the laptop today we were going to change the keyboard to the backlit backlight uh, keyboard upgrade this doesn't have a backlight from factory so but we're not going to upgrade the key, uh, the keyboard anytime soon okay so it's not really a, a used computer and the reason why i'm not going to upgrade the backlight keyboard yet is because it requires a lot of work you literally have to dismantle the whole computer like literally and these parts on these computers are very small and fragile so they could break they could break very easily since this is a brand new computer i'm not gonna do all of that right now you know what i'm saying but i'll definitely eventually install the backlight uh keyboard you know what i mean but uh all right so this is also why i am not gonna install the backlight keyboard because i have a extra set of uh well that i bought steel serious gaming uh keyboard very good keyboard and it lights up very nice so i won't be really using these keep uh, these keypad uh keyboard for uh nighttime so all right so we are going to install the ram the solid drive and ram 16 gigabyte RAM and four terabyte uh, solid drive. I don't know if this brand's any good, but uh, I'm gonna try it out. So we'll figure that out. And we're just gonna go ahead and just unplug every screw on the laptop, pretty much. Don't mind my dog, my little doggy dog.
we got the very last one, which shouldn't be so bad. Okay, now I'm going to show you something uh, very cool, actually. A pro tip, anyways. Um, see what I did here with these screws? See how organized that is? These screws will, will go exactly the same place each screw hole came from. So it is the exact same screw that came from factory. Will return to the same place. I call this organized. This is my favorite way of doing things when installing or upgrading or uh, deinstall, whatever the case may be. You know, I feel like that's good energy. And it's very, uh, much common sense basic sense anyways because imagine if one of these screws aren't really the same they're just by a tad bit off on the threads of the uh each uh specific uh screw hole on the laptop so that's a pro tip if you guys want to use that tip i recommend it because that's just me and it's common sense so that's a pro tip so let's go ahead and open this thing up see what uh see what it's about let's see what it's about oh okay okay Just be careful when opening this up. You don't want to ruin any, anything underneath. So it's always a good idea to aim towards the upwards of the computer, of the case. It's always a good idea. Never downwards, upwards. So. opinion it's just more common sense instead of going towards the motherboard or any plugs there's always a good idea to go up on the case in my opinion of course in my opinion and that's it we got it out so that's what it looks like so. all right so let's go ahead and put this to the side. Let me just make space here because of the screws. I want to be unorganized. Okay. So as you can see, this is a 2.5 inch uh, SATA hard drive so there's going to be four screws to pull this out we're going to have to remove the battery to remove this um, this screw on this side so we're going to unplug the battery and uh, ram is simply just unclipping these two uh side clips one of each and it'll come right up but first we're going to get started with taking out uninstalling the battery carefully and then we're gonna do the hard drive and the reason why I am not gonna upgrade the backlight computer uh, keyboard keypad is because I gotta take this whole thing apart like everything everything has to come out so the difficulty level for that is professional so i am not a pro pro but i am very careful when touching these things and using my basic common sense but i don't want to go there just yet because i want to enjoy this computer before i 
you know in case i do mess something up because look how small these things are look look how easy it is to break you know what i mean i don't want to break anything so even though i have all the correct tools you know i got the correct tool uh, tool bag computer tool bag or consoles whatever even though i have it i'm just not gonna go there yet until I at least get to enjoy it a little bit, you know? So, God forbid, you know, anything happens or whatever. This thing has one year warranty. So, I'm not going to go there. But I'm going to show you. That's the plug. So, this computer, this laptop came with the uh, backlight optional plug. So, this is a backlight laptop with the option of plugging it in. But this didn't come from factory with the backlight. So this is the plug you want to find when you open your Acer Aspire 3 on the a 3 e models. So pretty much that's how you find out if you have a backlight plug. So if you ever buy a laptop without backlight keyboard, you have to first open up the back or call your brand's customer service excuse me call your brand uh this was acer so if you if you have an acer you call acer customer service and you ask them before you even take this apart you could even ask them yourself or you could do what i did open up the back and just find out for yourself you won't even have to wait a couple of minutes or 10 or 15 minutes on the phone talking with customer service but that's the plug for the backlight keyboard right there so all right enough of talking let's get this started I'm taking it to uh yada 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 so for the battery it's gonna be a screw right here and like i said i'm very organized very organized that's just me that's the way i work if a job takes an hour to do i'll take two or three hours just to make sure i do quality you know they say patience is the key so quality over anything in my opinion because you never want to rush anything it doesn't matter what it is whatever the case may be all right so those two screws are out and the battery let me unplug it. Oh, it's on right here. Let me uh, grab my tweezers. I have tweezers for this thing. Brand new tweezers. Why have tweezers if you're not going to use it right? All right. So this has like a little tape. Let's pull out the tape, make sure. Okay. And we're simply just going to basically just push it back. Clip it back. Just be careful. You don't want to break it. But I'm gonna have to use my two fingers. Hold on. There we go. There we go. You gotta you gotta use your fingers. Don't use the the clip. So alright, so the battery's disconnected pretty much. And it should be easy, just like that. You know what I mean? So now I'm gonna put the battery on top. Just like that, take it easy. Never, you know, take your time. And now we have space for the hard drive, right? So let's zoom in on the hard drive. Just get that hard drive out. And now, wow, so we got this in the way. Oh, wait a minute. We actually didn't have to take out the battery, but I went ahead and did it anyways. We, I don't even think we had to take the battery. But it is a good idea to unplug the battery anyways. You never know. You can mess up the electricals when, you know, upgrading anything. So it's a good idea to always disconnect the batteries for when you do upgrades. Because... With the battery connected, you could, you know, fry. So you never know. Hey, you never know. 
it's just like a car you, you know if you're gonna be touching electrical in a car my co the common sense is always unplug the battery it's basic common sense before touching any electrical or whatever you know so it's always a good idea to always unplug the battery no matter what for any upgrade even if it's just a small upgrade okay so now we're gonna going to unplug you know what we gotta unplug this first We got it out okay so we got the hard drive out all right so now we got these four screws on the side one right there and one right here another one right there and another one right there so that's exactly what we're gonna do we're gonna un plug those four screws Make sure you leave it like that. Let me uh, open up the hard drive first. Make sure it actually fits. Make sure it's the correct size and whatnot. So I know for a fact it's the correct size, but we gotta double check before we deinstall, uninstall the original hard drive. You know what I mean? You know what I mean? It's just common sense. Now we're gonna compare the two. Well, let's see if it's the same size. Let's see. Okay, well, it looks like it's the same size. So I don't know if you can see or not. It's a 2.5 inch and it's the same size. So this should bolt on. So we are gonna go ahead and uninstall the one terabyte SATA drive. All right, so let's go ahead and deinstall it, uninstall it carefully. So now we're going to flip it over and we are just simply going to transfer it like this, just like that. But first, we got to transfer it the other way, like this, and it should work. 
Okay, so let's go ahead and reinstall the screws. Make sure you don't flip this when you reinstall it so it's not confusing. You know what I mean? So this is going to be a pretty long video, obviously, but well worth it. I don't think uh, on YouTube there's there's a full review on this particular model laptop. So if you have this model, I'll be the first one with this video with this model model review because this has a DVD optical drive. So. <clears throat> What laptop do you know has a DVD optical drive? That's like one of the coolest laptops around. It's very convenient. It's got an optical drive, dude. Buy a laptop with an optical drive. They're trying to phase that out. It's actually a very good thing to have. Oh, this not going in. Oh, there we go. Wait a minute. Uh, hold on. Let's see what's happened here. Okay, let's get this screw in. Correct. So leave all four four screws loose when doing this. Friggin' magnet. There we go. No, it's installed good. So before you tighten these screws, leave it all loose. Don't tighten it. So you could adjust it and play around. There we go. Don't super tighten them either. Just keep it snudge. Don't over tighten because you could actually strip it. All right. <laughs> okay, so now we are going to install it. Ah, pretty simple, pretty basic. Awesome, that was easy. I'm hoping this hard drive works because I've never uh, heard of silicon power a uh, hard drive before, so I am new. All right, so that's installed. There it is, that's what it looks like. And there's my little organized screws. These two screws, or four screws, these four screws are gonna go exactly the same spot they came from. Always do this organized. It is always better, in my opinion. In my humble opinion, it is always better like that. In my opinion. Now people might disagree, so if you disagree, there's nothing wrong with that either. Don't tighten all the screws yet, just install them, keep them loose, and then re-tighten them. So, in my opinion, of course. So, yeah. I am hoping Okay, now you now you tighten them.
not super tight, just just enough, a smudge. You know, you don't need to super tighten it. Okay, now is the best part. We are going for the ram. I don't know if you can see, but, but that's the ram. Right there. And what we're going to do is simply just unclip it from one side and on the other side. It'll come right out just like that. Simple, easy. Carefully uninstall it with both fingers. And we are going to compare before we install the new one. We're gonna compare, see the difference. Okay, so here's the new RAM. Wow, you could tell the big difference on this. What a big difference. Check it out. This is 16 gigabytes. That's 8 gigabytes. So look at the difference on the RAM. Big difference. Big difference. This thing is gonna go way faster now. So now we're gonna see if this clips right in. Make sure it matches. Make sure it does match. So make sure it matches. You can't don't uninstall it. You see how it's like that? Don't uns don't do not install it like that. Make sure it's installed like this. And we're gonna go ahead and just clip it in. Literally, that's all we gotta do. Just clip it in. And then, look. Boom. Easy peasy lemon squeezy, that's it. And now, we close this up, we reinstall the cover. We are going to reinstall the cover. The best exciting part. And then we're going to start up the computer and we're going to install our new goodies, our keyboard, our mouse, and the uh, gaming keyboard anyways. We're going to reinstall the gaming keyboard. So the battery is going to go back. So before we put the battery back, let's connect this first. There we go. Very fragile, but well, we got it. It's connected, all right. Now, for the fun part. Put the tape back on. Like I said, don't tighten it yet. First, get all the screws installed. And then you tighten it. Okay, now. All right. 
Don't super duper tighten it. Make sure to tighten and that's it. So voila, battery installed, RAM installed. Make sure it's connected before you close up. And blah, blah, blah. Okay, so we got the four terabytes, 16 gigabytes of RAM. So four terabytes of uh, solid drive. And then we're gonna do like a mini review. And then there's the, uh, for those that wanna upgrade to the backlight. That's the plug, don't forget. And yeah, and then there's the DVD opt optical drive. Wow, so convenient. This is awesome. I highly recommend if you ever get a laptop, get the DVD optical drive. Even They're so rare. Most of these laptops don't even have it anymore. And it's so convenient, you know? Especially if it has a Blu-ray on it. Oh my gosh. All right, enough talking. Let's get this back on. And then we're gonna do a test. Test run, see how much, uh, see how much better it is, you know? All right, so back it goes. you hear a click for every side. Just grab the laptop and just make sure each side is clicked in before you go ahead and reinstall the screws. Okay, and you know the deal, you know the drill. Screws go to the same place. Do like a crisscross. For the screws, just do like a little crisscross. Again, don't over, don't over tighten them. Leave them loose. Before, before tightening. So do like a crisscross, you know. For the screws installed. And you'll be good. By the way, this is my first laptop. I already told you guys this, right? My first official computer I've ever bought with money. Which is pretty cool. All right. So, I pretty much got all the screws installed. And now, well now we tighten them. Not super duper tight. Just enough to make sure. Oh, 
Okay. We pretty much got it normally tight. Okay. So that's it. Now we are going to do a test run. Who's ready for the best part? It's gonna be the best part. Okay. Well, here's, here's the test run now. I'm hoping it turns on. Of course it turns on. I installed every everything accordingly. Uh-oh. Did I do something wrong? Oh my gosh. What did I do? It's not turning on. Okay, so apparently it says no hard drive when we clearly installed a hard drive. I'm assuming uh, it's a faulty hard drive. It is silicon power, four terabyte. So I'm, assume, I'm assuming it's not reading it correctly. So we are going to uninstall it and reinstall it again to see if uh, that's the reason. I guess. Or maybe I had to get a better one, better brand, like Samsung. I mean, this hard drive, or solid drive, I pay like almost $200. So, it's four terabytes. So, it could be a faulty terabyte. Uh, it could be a faulty uh, solid drive. It's not reading correctly. So, we're going to uninstall it again and turn off the computer. Turn it on one more time. Or you know what? I am not. Okay. So for those who uh, upgrade their hard drives to uh, solid state drives, uh, as far as the uh, the unreadable uh, boot device uh, menu pops up, where your computer won't start, what you have to do is to you have to click repeatedly F2 as soon as you start up the computer. You have to get to the BIOS menu, and you have to change the uh, option from UEFI to no legacy mode so you can run your state solid drive. Because the computer doesn't recognize the upgrade of the uh, hard drive, so what it does is it's kind of like, it kind of like shuts down, I guess. It won't let the computer start because it thinks it's a different, it's not the original hard drive. It doesn't realize it's an upgrade. So I'm gonna show you, I personally, I went back to the original hard drive because this computer, this specific computer doesn't have the no legacy option. So I had to uh, do a manually third party, I guess, USB connect uh, called Rufus to let me run the solid state drive upgrade on this laptop. Unfortunately, this, uh, this laptop doesn't have a no legacy option or maybe I just have to find another way to be able to run the solid state drive, uh, hard drive on this computer. So we're gonna turn it on. We're just gonna show you how it is for those that have different model computers and wanna run the solid state drive uh, option. So you turn it on and right away you click F2 so you can get to the BIOS menu. So just keep on tapping it all right, so this is the BIOS menu. And you do that by pressing F2 repeatedly. So what you have to do is you have to go to the main. So you use the arrow keys. Let's go to the main and then where you see F12 boot menu, click enter and leave it enabled. 
So leave that enabled. And then as far as the, all right, so this is the part that I was talking about where it says boot. So whenever you do an upgrade on your hard drive, you have to click where it says E, U, E, F, one or, or I, you have to click enter. Over here, it would show no legacy or UEFI. Unfortunately, I don't have no legacy uh, boot option, so I won't be able to run the solid state drive right now at this moment. I'll have to, I guess, use a uh, download a Rufus uh, Rufus program and let me run a third party on it and be able to run the solid state drive. Unless there's another way, I think there's another way. I just have to uh, figure out how the other way I could do it as far as disabling the um, I guess disabling the uh, boot mode and just running it to start the computer with the solid state drive and then re enabling it so the computer can recognize the solid state drive and then putting this back on all right so that's about it so and then as soon as you, you know, then you click exit, you click save, save configuration and exit. And then your computer should start right up. It'll restart. And with the new hard drive that you guys install, it should start if you guys have the no legacy option. Otherwise, you have to do a third party and search. You have to do your research and install a third party uh, program. And that's about it. Thank you for watching. Like and subscribe and comment.